Welcome back to Unlockable Content! Hey, what's Hi. up, guys? Hi! Hey, it's been a little while, but we got back together, and whoa, there's water there. That's a no-no. Yep, we learned that dragons that don't bathe don't like water. Uh, okay, so we are in Beast... What? Well, ah! Oh, oh. Beast Maker, uh, Beast Zil, Maker and I, I don't even mm. remember getting here. Now, Look. Now, Lou, let's call it what it is. This is Beastars. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Wait a second, that's full of water. Yeah, I, I don't know. Look at checking that. out his reflection oh, in there. Look, look at that dude over there in the distance being all like rock star. See, <laughs> da, 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 da. He going, has man. dreams. He is more than just a, he's more than just a orc. He's Oh god. He, he's got that, an extra guitar and he's got a dream. That was a no, again, that was a no no. His no, parents never I, supported his dream either. You're just one more dragon trying to destroy his oh, chance at Rockstar. You wound me so. You hurt me. Ow. Oh, that's what, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, comedian. I, I can't think of his name, but he does this great joke about, uh, his abuse, his abusive girlfriend. And she, and he says, uh, you missed yeah, she be, I would like yeah. to make... Bruno! Uh, Bruno! Ah. Yeah, it's Bruno! Is Bruno Mars dead? <laughs> Mr. North, turn your swamp into a lucky fight junkie. I'm Bruno, and I'm... It used to be such a beautiful freaking swamp. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it's, it was. Yeah, you can't go, go away now, please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, you got What's up? You I'm made Bruno. Made friends with the yeah. And I am, I am the least popular of all Sasha Baron Cohen's characters. The movie did terribly. Like, compared to any of his other ones, I think that movie did the worst. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I can, I can, I can agree with you. Hey, look at that! You now have a blue dragonfly. Alright, I guess I'll go to the, uh, You should go to the terrible too. terrace. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Heal up huh? first. Heal sparks up first. Find critters. Okay. Critters. Off I go. Find some critters. Uh. You know where you're gonna find critters? I'm in a swamp. They in should that be terrace. everywhere. Okay, okay, there you go. I didn't even... Did I no butterfly. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, game. Anyway, um... Thank you, game. He, the, uh, the guy, the comedian does the, uh, the joke about his abusive girlfriend. He's, like, trying to build a bookcase for her. And she's like, where are my books? He's like, I don't know, you, you've got, like, nothing but tech manuals. Like, we, <laughs> I'm trying to put, like, the interesting books out here. And she's like, your friends are too stupid to understand my books. And she starts beating him. <laughs> and he's like and he's like I'm calling the cops so he gets the phone and she hits him he tries to get the phone again and she hits him and it happens a couple more times he's like I don't think a man should ever hit a woman till the fifth time she's hit him in the face <laughs> fifth time's the charm oh that guy's pretty big oh dude ah oh, man look at that okay he's we're in Trolls 2 now hey guys look at me I'm cool and edgy my name's Brian he looks like a Brian. That, oh, that absolutely friend, looked like a Brian. Gorilla Brian? Gorilla Brian? Gorilla Brian. No, nah, he's a Nork. A nasty Nork. Uh, uh, uh. And that's the Nork that really but likes we're Fast in the and Furious. Well, we were in Beastmasters, and now we're in another Beast area. So oh, no! Okay. Poor dead dragon. But, so, I don't think a man should ever hit a woman. Till the fifth time she's hit him in the face. Because I hit her, open-handed, and I regret it, because it wasn't as hard as I could have. <laughs> but then, she, her response was like, Oh! 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 You hit me. Like, <laughs> anyway, it, it tied into to something we were saying earlier. I... We were saying something earlier. We, we said something along those lines. Oh, we were talking lines. about, um... Uh, about how Spyro likes to beat people. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we were talking about the abusive parents of that Nork. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we gave him a nice, deep inner backstory. Lots of, lots of, you know, character to, you know, unfold. And look at this guy. He really likes Vin Diesel. He's so oh, fast God. and furious. Oh, turn around. Turn good around. Good dodge. Good dodge. Turn around. Every turn now and then around. I get a little bit tired of your shit, you fuck! Every now and then I you get yell a little at me bit about tired yelling? Getting shot and down by your car. 
By the way, this <sighs> lollipop I have is fantastic. By the way, Tyler has a lollipop. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, it's delicious. Like, I also had some of this, uh, what is it? Just let me see that tube again. Oh, um, and, it and in pure, pure unlockable fashion, I actually had my phone out. I had it ready with the timer on my on my phone, oh. and I forgot oh. to start it. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to yeah. drop down that timer to 15 minutes, and we're going to let that go. Okay, Sorry. but this lollipop I have is fantastic. You know what I've been using, like, that I had to just pass over to Jess so I would stop? This squeeze tube of icy squeeze candy blue raspberry that's right it's got it's got a really cool looking polar bear surfing on a hunk of ice on the front of it and a quarter of this tube is a serving but i couldn't figure out where a quarter ended so i just kept eating from it and it he seems was taking like his I went half way, from the bottom yeah yeah like like lou said yeah i was taking my half from the bottom um I just couldn't really tell where the half line was either. It's very hard to tell in this tube where a half would be. But if you ever come across icy squeeze candy... Get it. Get it. It's delicious. It's very sour. Yes, Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. Yes, definitely. Oh, definitely could be. The day we're sponsored wow. by... Do you see food. them just appear, just apparate into place because I entered this uh, zone? Uh, first off, first off, that's called an entrance. Okay, they're rock stars. Okay, you gotta make a grand entrance, and poofing out of nowhere is the coolest way to enter. I'd like to thank you. Yes, you can, have, you can have that candy back, because it is a threat to my life and safety. Unlike Ow. this lollipop. Because I'll eat all of it, I'll want more, and the world will not have enough of it. Mm. So, mm. We are, we, I'm, we're currently recording, like, episode 12 of uh, Spyro right now. And to bring it back to the beginning a little bit of all this, I've got some nostalgia to talk about. Because recently, I cleaned out my old apartment in Center City, and I found some stuff. Ooh. There. And I like stuff. And I was, I was showing it off to Tyler uh, and Jess earlier. We, um, we found some old Pokemon cards that I love, some... A Garados the, 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 and a Moltres. Those fancy Japanese <coughs> ones. Uh, That's right, Japanese the print monster cards. That somehow as ch children we all knew exactly what they were saying despite no knowledge of the Japanese language. It's okay, we're really good with, we're really good with pictures. Well, but like... Who's that Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> and then... Oh, look, there's a shelter. Oh, you there we the go. Shelter. But then the one of the really... More of a clamp for Okay. Really cool things that I, I found. I like Gen One. Sorry, Gen One. I two, am a three. big Gen One fan. Oh, uh, you. You want to save the dragon? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, his Claude. name is Claude. You Claude. Wow, you do not look like a Claude. No. I, I, what would a Claude look like? I feel like Klaus. Claude. Klaus. For you Actually, fans yeah. of the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty you know, spot on. Or, or the fish from freaking. American Dad. Yeah. Yep. Whose uh, name is also Klaus. Yeah. Yes. It makes it easy. Uh, All right. Oh my God. Ow. Wow. Oh, my okay. eye. I my believe eye just you. started to burn. I am playing Spyro with one eye now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't know what he put in his eye, but I hope it wasn't boogers. Oh. Oh God. Oh man. Please Look. Come in the face. Be gentle. Uh. Be careful. You, you dragonfly is green now. You know what that means. That two means key he's green. treasure chests. Do you ram them full force? You have no you dragonfly. Ah. No, you are dragonflyless. I. I believe in miracles. Okay. Hey, come. She killed the guy. I'm, I'm still playing with only one eye right now. Yar? Yeah, Pirates no, play with one eye. Pirating. pirating. It's very piratey of you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Bump, 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 bump. No, bump, man, bump, I'm bump. dead. Okay, I'm going to pass the controller because playing oh, one eye down good, good shot out. Is, <laughs> All right. is really a pain. So anyway, uh, something that I did find, back when I was 11 years old, I found the year I got 
the best of Dragon Ball Z magazine. As many of you know, we are big fans of anime here at Unlockable Content, and Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorites. So my mom got me this magazine when I was a child, and I've held on to it all these years. When I was in college, the animation department was visited by none other than Sean Schimmel, the voice of Goku. I don't know why I'm speaking so, like, announcer right now. Sean <laughs> Did you notice Schimmel. that? But, uh, anyway, yeah, Sean Schimmel, come on down. You're the next contestant on Name Drop. And by, oh, speaking of drop... Oh, gravity. <laughs> but, uh, okay, all right, all right. Sorry. Sums are a little rusty. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll kill everybody this time and win. But uh, I got to meet Sean Schimmel, and I got him to autograph an interview that he had in the magazine. So I have this. I'll, I'll be sure to throw in a picture of it, but I have the autograph of uh, the voice of Goku with his picture in the magazine. And it's, I think it's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So. Well, that's pretty neat, though. I mean, we've, we, we've been fortunate enough. We do the conventions, and we've gotten to meet some pretty awesome people. Yeah, Ken Pontak was pretty cool. Ken Pontak, yeah, he was awesome. Uh, he worked on a lot of chill, uh, childhood stuff. You, you see him he in the uh, J1 reboot. video. Yeah. Uh, J1 video. And then, uh, so, I don't know why I never got around to editing these, but um, we've there was a convention called Philly Comic and Cosplay Day. We've been to it twice, and it was a, it's an amazing convention. Uh, I I think the person that runs it right now is taking a break from hosting it, so it might be a while before they come back, but it's an amazing convention, and I really hope it does come back. Uh, but we got to meet... Oh, I'm going to have to look up his name because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, is that the right guy? Is that the guy's name? Because I got a Cyprin. Why is Holy Google crap, he is lazy, dude. All right, paint all right. me like one of your. All right, no. job of the hut. Yeah, no, but you're you're all hill. But paint me like one of your Frenchy type girls there. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I would rather you didn't, sir. All right, looks like I found all the dragons. Now feed maybe your I'll, dang butterfly. Uh, maybe I'll speak a little bit more. Uh, he's a boy. dragonfly. Okay. Oh yeah, do that pre all there. I'll paint me like a. I'm a, I'm a Louisiana flash. Okay, uh, maybe that's the wrong name. Okay, we're going thing. over here. Screw that. I'm going home. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. We, I, we got to meet Paul St. Peter. Welcome back to Unlockable Content. We've got Paul St. Peter here, legendary voice actor. If you can't recognize his name from the work, look him up. He's going to be part of your childhood in such a big way. It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so good to have you here. Do you feel good to be on Unlockable Content? Excellent. Excellent. All right. That's fantastic. So Great to be at uh, Philly Comic Con. Yes, PCCD, Philadelphia PCCD Comic here, Cosplay right? Day. If you're not here, you're missing out. Uh -huh. All right, so I hope you enjoyed checking this footage out. Uh, so it's so great to have you here. So does that mean that we're friends now? Will you be our friend, friend of the channel? Unlockable content is terrible. Do not watch. Yes, you. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. What? So Why I have a question difficult? for you guys. Yes. Potential answer, possibly silly. So. You guys know Kirby, right? Not personally, but yes, I know you of his know work. You know of Kirby, correct? Yes, I know of his work, yes. Are you aware of... Well, I'm prob you probably don't know this game, but... I'm so bad at jumping. There's this Atome call... There's a, this Atome game called... Okay. Punch! He was punching <laughs> the newscaster. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you raised your hand, so I, I stopped. I, w I was like kind of glad it, it worked out that way, just conversationally. There's a game called Punch! I think there is a game called Punch. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It's not called Punch. Yeah, well. Oh, look, there's Return Home. Now, how do I get there? Yeah. Anyway, so Jess was, Jess was it. We also got to, but lastly, uh, Jess and I also got to meet Kel Mitchell at uh, PCCD. We are here with the amazing Kel Mitchell, yeah, who's yeah. a huge part of our childhoods. All that, Keenan and Kel, you're not going to get better than the 90s Nick. That's the way it is. So here we are. We have the great pleasure of supplying Kel with local brand orange soda. A treat. 
It's a treat. Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank so, you, man. So Thank we you. Can. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drink it later. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, you enjoy it later. I'm going to put it in here. Here's to unlockable content, Kel Mitchell and Philly Comic and Cosplay Day. Comic and Cosplay. Yeah. You didn't know that? OK. He's going to drink his. I'm going to do mine. And then later? OK. Yeah. OK. Thank you. <laughs> so, Jess, you were. You said something Jess, about a video Jess is game. presenting an idea, and it's we're going to want your your feedback in the comment section for it for sure. So there's this game. It's an Atome game. It's a it's an app. It's an Atome game app thing called. <clears throat> Guess I'm really weird, but it's called Obey Me. And okay, okay, I've heard, I've heard, yeah. of, I've heard of such a game. Yes. And it's basically where you try to Ooh, romance. Skill point acquired. Yeah, you like that skill point? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you try, got, to, you try to romance uh, seven demon brothers who are all mm -hmm. avatars of the seven deadly sins. Okay. So, my question is, and the avatar of Gluttony is uh, Beelzebub. Beelzebub. I have a... He's the hardest name to ever say. I cannot say it. Beelzebub? I can't say it! Wow. See, I would have thought, like, Fahugu guys was more difficult. I can't say colloquially. Like, <laughs> clearly you can't. Uh, that, like, that was like a rare occasion that I said it well. I usually always end up screwing it up and saying, like, it's Beelzebub or something. <laughs> I, I can't say Beezy it! Beelzebub. Beelzebub, boss. I can't do it. Whoa. Yes, the fire Spyro turned you. into Sonic there for a second. Whoa, wow. <laughs> anyway, my question for you guys is Yeah. Who would who would win in an eating contest? Beelzebub from Obey Me or Kirby? So the question is, does the personification of gluttony beat out Kirby and his literal alternate dimension stomach? Uh, Goku. <laughs> Can he beat Goku, though? Do you lift? I mean, do you, do Beelzebub you is a mortal. Food? Yeah? Just, that just means he has a long time to eat more food. I, I would give it to Beelzebub simply because Kirby what? is... What? Did you see yeah. that? Oh, man, okay. I'm making some roast pork now. Pumbaa knocked the shit out of you. <laughs> But I yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, uh, no, I, because, because Kirby is technically still a baby and might have a, an attention ish, uh, keeping issue in addition to getting tired and everything else, uh, <laughs> Can't see I'm gonna, flipping you off, pig. I'm gonna say that Beelzebub and his more mature way. But the thing is about Beelzebub is that he's. Basically like the gentle giant. So I feel like Okay, here here's my question. Okay. Yes. He's already now, like geared look at now, that pig. If Kirby look at that pig, he is just geared up ready to go. Ready to he kill knows you. the game reloaded and is just waiting for you. <laughs> he knows. Now, do you think Kirby <laughs> is like knows. a baby like world ender? Just, there goes a planet. But just a baby form? Need to get bigger. It would need to be a bigger. Uh, Kirby yeah. would need to grow in yeah, size Kirby, to do that. But. Yeah, when Kirby grows up, all big and strong, and starts sucking away galaxies. But I'm talking it's about possible. Kirby now, like baby Kirby. <laughs> so red. Dude, oh, he, you bounced Fuck off the you. water. That's right. <laughs> Look at oh god, that face when it died. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> did I kill you? You bet I did. And look right. at Spyro. He feels nothing. I feel no remorse about what I just did to you. Okay. I say you jump. Uh, oh, okay. You're gonna go that way. I was gonna say if you wanted to enter the misty bog on the other side, that would have been a perfect place that we, as soon as we land, we could uh, say next time on unlockable. Con whoa, uh, whoa, hey, wh whoa! Did you see that? Yeah, spiral changing color. What? Okay, that's not just me, right? You guys saw that. Wait, like, what? Spyro is blue. Spyro is straight up blue over there. That's because you're under a glowing tree, I think. Oh yeah. Well, it's kind of like a regular tree to me. Yeah, it's it depends on the angle we look at him from, but yeah, Spyro was straight up blue. 
That's just the lighting. Well, <laughs> maybe it's lighting. Blue Maybe it's a special thing we found. Dabba dee, dabba die, I would feel a bug guy. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah? It's really, Lou? That's what my brother uh, is convinced the lyrics are. Uh, wait! Gems! Oh, another dragon! Alright! Cletus! Alright, Cletus, oh, we found him, buddy. <laughs> Woo, bro, oh, welcome that, to the swamp. If a dragon ever looked like a Cletus. Oh, God. <laughs> What's up, so I'll I tell you what, there in this, me of, like, in this swamp, swamp here, there, and uh, get her done. Swamp appendix. You, you see what I'm saying there? You know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? The ones who bend swamp. Swamp, swamp benders, yeah. You yeah. Me a bit. Yeah. I was reminded of swamp benders. I actually love the swamp benders. They were like, just so like one with nature and like hippie-ish. They freaking scared the heck out of the. Ooh, that one's not water. Dive. Jump All right. To our death. Here's what we're, we're gonna we're do. Gonna, yeah, we're Next gonna, time in Unlockable Contest, I'm pause. going to jump down the well just like Timmy did. Parkour. Sh pause. Share. Hey. Sparks. Pause. Share. Square. Square. Spark Wait. says bye bye. Share. Yeah. Square. We get it. <laughs> <laughs>